Welcome to What Away with Washers, where we tried to model a washer as many ways as possible using Creo Parametric. Let's try using a sweep. And before we can create a sweep, we have to have a path. The path is the trajectory that a cross section will follow. In this case, we can make that path a circle and we can select this either to be the inside diameter, the outside diameter, or we can go with halfway in between and have the cross section follow that path. With the path created, now we can create the sweep by selecting the trajectory, creating a cross section. Watch for these crosshairs. This is going to tell you where to create your cross section so that it is perpendicular with the path. This cross section is going to have a height of 0.5, that's the thickness, and a cross section of 0.5, that is the wall thickness that will go around the path, as if we were doing the revolve. Constant cross-section is the way to go here. So in this case, we sketched the cross-section, did not include the inner or outer diameter. But we can confirm that they are still an outer diameter of 2 and an inner diameter of 1. Next, we'll use the Blend tool, which is from the Shapes drop-down. However, the blend tool is not going to allow us to have multiple loops, so we'll just be able to create the outside sketch. Cross section 1 will be right on the top plane, and we'll just use the outer diameter. We're going to make the second cross section 0.5 up from the first one and that will have a cross-section of an outer diameter of 2. I could dimension this 2, but I'd rather use the equal sign and make the two different diameters the same. Here we have uh, two sketch sections. We could add more and we offset the first one from the second one. To get that hole, we could add a thickened sketch here and set a wall thickness of 0.5. The other option to create a blend was to use already existing sketches. create already existing sketches, we can make the base. To make the second sketch, we need a plane that will offset from the top by a distance of 0.5 and create a sketch on that new datum plane. And we'll just project using control to get both sides to get the copy of the existing geometry. With these two sketches we can now go into Shapes Blend, use Selected Sketches, select the first one, Add, and select the second one. The swept blend combines aspects of both the sweep and the blend, so we need the path or the trajectory. In this case, the path or the trajectory is very straightforward, and it's just a line vertically up with that height of 5. Okay. And again, we'll rename it. We'll select 
the swept blend option, select the trajectory. On the sections, we'll create a sketch at the starting location. I'm fairly certain it's not going to let us use two loops here, but we'll give it a try. Yep, thought that was going to happen. So we can make a construction and leave it there as a piece of information. And then our next location, we'll click insert. And this is going to be at the end location. And we'll hit sketch. And we're using the new, right, if you can kind of see it here. Okay, and we'll create a circle. That's also two. And there's our outer circle to inner circle following the path. We can make it the geometry we want by using the Thicken Sketch tool. That wraps up What Away With Watchers Sweeps and Blends Edition.